Considering the popularity of the Pokemon franchise, it's no surprise that for every new Smash Bros game, we get at least one new Pokemon fighter. This time with Smash Bros Ultimate, people were expecting one of the Lolo stars to make it into the roster, and despite the cry for Decidueye, Incineroar was the one to make it in. However, in an interview, Sakurai did mention that Decidueye almost made it into the roster, so chances are that Sakurai and the team may have had a concept for what Decidueye would have been like in Smash. So, what if Decidueye made the Smash Bros Ultimate? What would he play like and what would his moveset be? Let's come up with something fun and unique. What's going on guys, Hybrid Area here. Sometime before the release of Smash Bros Ultimate, I actually made a video on the top 10 possible newcomer Pokemon in Smash Bros. And sure enough, just like everyone else who made a similar list, the top 2 Pokemon were the most viable, Incineroar and Decidueye. Among these two, I wanted to see Decidueye more cause I was under the impression that we would get Charizard as a standalone character. So. I wanted to complete the Grass Fire Water starter trio, but instead, we got Pokemon Trainer and Incineroar. I ain't complaining. I got my Kanto starters back, Red and Leaf and Incineroar, who's actually my favorite of the Alola starters. But this leads me to wonder, what would Decidueye have been like in Smash Bros? Well to start off, I think he would have been a really liked character. He's the lightest of all fully evolved starter Pokemon. And I think that primarily comes from him being a ghost type. I know Pokemon weight doesn't exactly correlate with Smash Bros weight, but Decidueye is based off an owl and spirits, so I think Sakurai would have tried to implement that into his design. Also, since he's a pretty light owl, I think it only makes sense to give him an extra jump. Just let him flap his wings an extra time to show that he's really a bird, even though he's not a flying type. Despite him being light though, I can't imagine him moving too fast, but not too slow either. Just at a very mid-range speed, cause although it's a slow Pokemon, you gotta be somewhat fast to be an archer. You know what else archery requires? Distance. You can't use a bow and arrow effectively if you're too close to the opponent, so I think for some unique traits, Decidueye's long reach ability would have been implemented into its design. Long reach would make it so that all of Decidueye's attacks do more damage the further Decidueye is away from the opponent. This would make spacing all the more crucial, and the difference between a simple attack and the kill could just be a few spaces away. Now you may think that this would promote a campy playstyle, but not all of the Decidueye's attacks will be long ranged. It'll have close range attacks, and long reach will work for them as well. Just think of the close range attacks working like Mart's Tipper. For his jab, I think him striking a 1-2 with his wings with the fury attack like jab lock with his claws would work perfectly. His tilts would simply just be strikes with his wings and feathers. His up tilt can kind of be like an upward strike from his wing in a crescent moon shape. Down tilt can just be a sweep from his wing to the feet. And forward tilt can be a diagonal slash with his wing. If you want to make the tilt into a Pokemon move, you can make him leafage, so that he has slightly ranged tilts. They just have a bigger or longer hitbox to work with long reach, and wouldn't be projectiles of any sort. For his aerials, you can have his forward air be a basic attack, similar to acrobatics, where he lunges forward before attacking. Have his back air be sucker punch, since back airs are kinda like surprise attacks. Have his up air be U-turn, and unique in the sense where if he lands a hit with U-turn, Decidueye gets launched down a little, but has his jumps restored, still giving him the ability to recover. And finally, just have his down air be a simple spike with one leg. But for Pokemon's sake, you can say that this will be Smackdown. Again, for long reach, we can have it so that sucker punch has a slightly larger hitbox. But for Acrobatics, U-Turn, and Smackdown, we can just say that the more distance Decidueye covers, the stronger the attack will be. Now on to the best part, the specials. Without a doubt, Decidueye's neutral special will have to be Spirit Shackle. I'd imagine the arrow to be a slower version of Pit and Dark Pit's arrow. However, since Spirit Shackle does trap the opponent in Pokemon, we'll give a fully charged up Spirit Shackle some end lag. But if it hits the opponent, it stuns them for a bit. His side special would be Shadow Claw, preferably a kill move with a good amount of knockback. His down special can be Tailwind, a move that takes some time to perform. But if executed, Decidueye gets a speed boost for 10 to 20 seconds. And finally, his upbeat recovery can be Brave Bird, 
This move will do recoil damage, but will cover a good amount of distance and be a really strong kill move as well. You won't be able to curve it or anything, but you can definitely choose to go straight in any upward direction with it. Again, long reach will apply to all these moves except Tailwind, since it just enhances this Decidueye's speed. You may notice that there seems to be a lack of grass type moves for Decidueye despite being a grass type, and that's done on purpose. As I mentioned earlier, similar to Greninja and Incineroar, the features of its primary typing will mainly come out on attacks like its tilts. I noticed that Incineroar's moveset doesn't actually contain any fire type moves either, but since the fire type element appears in its basic attacks, it's taken care of and represented in another way, and I want to keep it the same for Decidueye. For its taunts, it'd have to be something cool or edgy, maybe disappearing like Meta Knight, adjusting its hood in a menacing way, or just showing off its wings, but there's no question about what its final smash has to be. It, without a doubt, will be Sinister Arrow Raid, Decidueye's very own unique Z-move. Once Decidueye has a smash ball, it'd have to go up close to the opponent, and once you press B, a stronger Brave Bird animation will take place, and whoever gets caught in it will face the wrath of Sinister Arrow Raid, which will basically be the exact same thing as how it is in the Pokemon games. For unique skins, we of course need Decidueye's shiny color, and maybe one for Noctowl since it's another owl Pokemon, and the Noctowl skin can also be a nod to the colors of a Pueo Owl, the owl that Decidueye is based on. Also, assuming that Incineroar wouldn't have made it into the games, skins representing Incineroar and Primarina would have been a nice touch as well. And if you're looking for a cross-series reference, I'm not sure of too many owls in the other franchises of Smash Bros, but Zelda definitely has a lot of owls, so so maybe have one of them as a fun little skin for Decidueye as well. That's what I personally think Decidueye would have been like if he was in Smash Bros, but now, chances are that he won't be in the games at all. Thankfully though, he does have Pokken and a very famous pre-evolution. So even though Decidueye didn't make Smash Bros, there's still a whole lot going for this Pokemon. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned because I got more Smash Bros content coming your way real soon. And if you really like Decidueye, then you may want to watch the video I covered on the lost spirit of the Dartrix's trainer. It may leave you with a memorable life lesson as well. If you enjoyed, be sure to hero punch the like button. If you didn't, then hit that dislike button. Let me know how you feel. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. What did you think of this video and how do you feel about Decidueye not being in Smash Bros? Would you have liked to see him in the games? And what moveset would you have for him? Let me know. Share the video around if you want to help us with the channel. And finally, subscribe and hit the little bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all my content. Take care of yourselves, have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video, alright? Later.